Hey guys and welcome, my name's NG Paradox and welcome back to our, our Let's Play in Toulouse inside the Reaper's Dew DLC and of course uh, all the other updates brought with the new DLC, all the free updates and stuff. To be honest actually all the free updates were really good this time, um, so I was pretty happy with the updates I've done so far from what I can see. Um, hopefully they'll update that as well and improve them as time goes by with more updates. Always good to see that. This game is ridiculously old right now, but yeah. But still, it's probably the game I play the most. Actually, wait, no, it's probably a lie. Probably don't play it the most right now, but definitely for recording at least, but yeah. Uh, young Monia has finished her education. Ah, my uh, core tissue became a flamboyant schemer. Eh. Um, she's full of energy and will get things done. She should use that power for good. Um, I'm a cruel man, so probably not. Life will reward her. Yeah, I'll just say that. Life will reward her. I'm a cruel man. You know, I'm just, but still, it doesn't mean I'd say she has to use it for good. I'll just say that for now. She will get far. How's my son? Zero years old. Still a big worry for us. But success made uh, him like us. Excellent. He's made my nephew like us even more. Always good to see that. Hello, nephew. 59 right now. Would you ever change your religion? You would change your religion. Well, that would be very nice. The whole family can be Waldensian then. I submit to your wise counsel. Good girl in there, nephew. That means he'll like us even more. And no particular reason to do that, apart from the fact that it allows him to like us more, so that way he won't rebel against us. That's really the only reason I'm doing that. Just allows for more... What the... You, Mr. Bear... We haven't really spoken to you in a while, but you've changed back to your old religious ways. How dare you, sir? How dare you promise to convert? Vutard the Bear. 52 now. I, I, I completely forgot about him, mostly. Haven't really spoken to him much. He's keeping an eye on him because of the faction and stuff, but he doesn't have the power, really, to stop us. Which, of course, is good for me. And we'll just let time go by for now. Because things are, as I've said before, just very peaceful and frank here. For now, your marshal has come with you for suggestion. My lord, is my opinion that Goncalo would make an excellent military commander. Very well. How many keeping an eye on that? Don't usually bother to keep an eye on that until we go to war. Levy shifted noble obligation. So he wants to have more levies and less money. Hmm, do I want to give him more soldiers? What is it like at the moment? So this is for nobles, yeah? Noble obligations. Hmm. Noble Vassal Max Levy. Minus 30%. Minimum Levy plus 50%. Interesting. Opponents and undecided. So a lot of people seem to be undecided on it. Um, what, what, what do you think Duke Petro is thinking right now? He's cruel, proud, cynical, just gregarious and brave. He's gregarious who so he understands the social implications of me going against it. Then again, I am cruel, so I might just decline just to be cruel to the king. The king's cruel, though. The king is cruel, rough, deceitful, ambitious, paranoid, charitable. Okay, he's also a cruel man. Yeah, we'll decline, I think. Yeah, I think his proud and cruelty will just make him go decline for that. That's what I think for now. It could really be either way. But it went through anyway. Bohemia's just a mess, look at that. Uh, and a Bulgaria. What the? Did Bulgaria just take Bavaria? Yes, it did. I think Bulg. So Bulgaria's basically moved from over here to basically here. That's a very odd movement there. Khan Ormatag Usurper. He's right on the doorstep of the Frankia Empire. That is not expected. 830 men. How's your, uh, your heir? Your heir is frail. 61 years old. He's an old man. Bavaria still exists. King Theodo the Unready. 61 years old. He's also frail as well. Very old, that one. And his son has one eye. Yeah, I do feel like um, disfigurement is too common right now. You see that? Look at that. He's got one eye. 
and his father is disfigured, and we just saw from that other guy, look, he has one eye. I feel like right now it's happening too much. I think I heard in the next update they're going to release, they're going to maybe decrease that, or like the, the likelihood of lunatics or something is going to be decreased as well. So I have to admit, I do feel like that's happening more often, which is one thing I said at the beginning of this series, I was worried about like diseases killing people and other these new events happening too much. So maybe some of them happen a bit too much. Hopefully, like I said, it sounded like that they've decided to change that, or they're going to change the numbers. Look, see, look at that, yeah. Holy Wolf of Tunis again. But as long as they change it in the future, it'll be better. But for now, for our series, that's uh, it's already going to have an effect. So until they release that, we can't really do anything. But that's fine. Hmm. The Arafids seem to have basically taken what the... Um, the old empire had Caliph Arif Ironside. He's a bastard. Huh, Arafid. Is your father? No, your father isn't actually an Arafid. He's a uh, something. I, I really don't want to try and pronounce that. <laughs> but yeah, the Sunny Caliphate. Bawa Fiyid. So his son, his, he was the first son, but he was a bastard. So Arafid, what about your next son? Yeah, your next son was legitimate. But this son was not, but he took over. So technically, he's taken... He's like a, a cadet branch that took over, in a way. So his children have his name. His son is slow. Hmm. Not looking so great for them. The chieftain of Odenburg has been usurped by Bohemia. Okay, so some interesting things going on in the rest of the world. The Empire seems to have gotten a little bit quiet, though. Not much crazy things going on for the... This part, the the yeah blah blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I, I can't speak. Apparently, these are dark days. Then again, you you guys have probably seen the comments, but that's normal. You can never speak, idiot. I, I apologize. My daughter, uh, Aldel Gundis, has been beset by a high fever for several days, and I've just been informed that her affliction is indeed slow fever. <gasps> My poor daughter. My son's okay though. I pray to God that she'll recover. I am cruel. Also gregarious, so yeah. It'd be kind of, maybe a bit too far to say it for my own child. Wouldn't look good to, you know, outside onlookers. Denmark, they need to take back that piece of land to, to reform the religion. I really would like to see some of them get reformed. It's always fun to see something different happen, I find. Designated regents. We don't have a regent, but we do have a physician. Yeah, we do have a physician. Uh, regent, I guess, would be my wife. We'll make her the regent. Ah, slow fever did get here. I did not notice this pop up. Damn, we better close shut the gates. My daughter has already gotten it. Damn, because of my negligence on the realm, I was too busy looking at other places around the world. I did not see what happened to my own doorstep. I'm so sorry, as old Gundis. It was our own fault. It was our own fault. He's severely injured. But look at that eye. Ooh. Is that... I can't... It looks like maybe it's just like swollen maybe a little bit. I don't think he's lost it. Try to have a closer look, but... It could be there's a, a cut there and he's gone blind. Could be like a white eye. I'm not sure. It's hard to tell from that picture. Um, some commoners have already gathered. Seal the doors. Leave the commoners out. To all realm provinces so far have been a success. Okay. To all realm provinces... That's not, is that meant to be a specific place I sent you to? It's meant to say that. Like, I guess we don't need to make him like us anymore now. Yeah, that's enough. And we can't do anything right now because, yeah, we got all this closed. I collect taxes. Yeah, conversions. Yep. Uh, Sandra Corp Vision informs you that Guglielmo is suffering. <gasps> well, you're not important. So, yeah, it's too late for him out. Well, I am cruel. Then again, though, I am just. Would I just throw out a man just for being ill? Help him any way you can. I feel like him being just and cruel, maybe he'll think, like, in the sense of, uh, you know, for the good, for the greater good. That's why I feel like the way Petra would think about this. It's too late, throw him out, yeah. He'll think of it in that way. Oh. This guy, it's too late, throw him out. I'm sorry, peasant leader. You've been thrown out. I would like to get a favor, though, from the Emperor. That'd be really nice. 
<laughs> Everyone already has it. Throw him out. Throw him out. Throw all these commoners out. Ah. Trying to threaten my family with their disease. How dare they? The banishment committee law. Hmm. Banishment committee law. Will he be he'll be able to banish people then, I guess. Approval. I'm going to ignore that one. I don't think that's fair. Just being able to banish someone? That seems a bit too far, my king. I woke up this morning and realized that I've lost my feelings for my lover, Winner Dilda. Okay, that's fine. Such is life. I should tell her. She'll be so upset. She'll be so sad. We've won the siege of Berserta. Okay, has the uh, disease gone? No, it's spreading. Oh, wow. Consumption down there is really bad. But slow fever is just spreading everywhere. According to your marshal, the peasants of Carcassonne are having frequent troubles with highwaymen and wild beasts. He suggests constructing a series of outposts along the roads of Carcassonne. The peasantry would feel much safer, and it might even lead to more peasants moving to the county. A safe peasant is a productive peasant. Unfortunately, I have no money to spare. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think he would bother. Unfortunately, I have no money to spare. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just have no money right now. And the emperor just died of poor health. Which means that we have a very young emperor. 11 years old. Not not too young. Emperor Suno. Interesting name. I've never come across Suno in Europe. Seems like an odd choice. Okay, so we've got a new emperor. His regent, though, is Mayor Robert. Um, did any of his lands get split? No, he had no other brothers or sisters. So it was just him. Okay, so we've got everything. So that should keep things well for him. Uh, the council is discontent. The title of marshal. So again, looks like we were put on the council. We'll accept. Maybe I could even become the regent. <laughs> we just need to kill him. And we could possibly. Let's go. Would Petra want to become regent? I don't know. He's proud and cruel. I think maybe he might try if he could. Let's have a quick look. Any plots maybe? To try to do that. I wonder if there's a plot for that. I think there is for some reason. No, there's none there apparently. I still have a prisoner which I completely forgot about. Uh, Nuno. Completely forgot about you. I probably should just banish you. Whoa. 202 gold will be seized. Well, there we go. Banish him. Done and done. And we definitely should be building some. I have a ridiculous amount of money. In fact, we could build a whole new castle. Should I build a whole new castle? I only have one son. We can have one more domain, but I might want to expand a bit more. Vassals, we are nowhere near that. Ah, uh, no. Let's just build up our castle for now. I won't spend too much, then in the future we can think about it. We'll think about it. Maybe something happens and we have an occasion to build one for. We'll build a barracks for now. There we go. See, not going to spend too much money. Just spent a little bit. Uh, we could build a fort. Uh, you control as well as a hostile province where you have troops present. The cost. Uh, forts locked down. Your occupation of empty nomad provinces and a gate. Yeah, it's really for, like, pagans and nomads and stuff. Yeah, we don't need that. We'll build castles if we need to. That's what our people need. You can shut the gates. But that slow fever is just spreading out. Doesn't like it's ever going to leave. Will there be problems though? Factions. Independence faction is very small. Increased council power we might like. Elective succession. Nope, don't want that. Overthrow the Emperor. What would happen if he was overthrown? His sister, I guess? No, no, his heir would actually be yes. I think he would be his uncle. Who's actually younger than him. No, wait. Okay, he's, he's older by one year. His uncle of one year older would take over. But it looks like things are quite peaceful here, even though we just had a succession. And a very young succession. That doesn't always happen. To loot and pillage. So it's like some Vikings and stuff, or hosts are trying to take advantage of this. They thought maybe the Empire would be weak. We'll show them. Frank here is strong together. This, we, We're all Christians. Kind of Christian. I'm a, I am a Christian, but... Um, I guess we might as well read what it's about. Originally a reform movement within the Catholic Church, well, Denzin heretics are anti-clerical. 
and advocate a return to vows of poverty. Ah, so yes, if I remember correctly, that means that they kind of, they're the ones who say that you should give up all your valuables. Um, they like take vows of poverty and the clergy shouldn't be, you know, have riches and stuff. They should live in simple lifestyles. They oppose a capital punishment and believe, okay, so we shouldn't execute people. I wonder if that actually is in the game. I wonder if you can't choose to execute. I should have checked that on the prisoner. That would be really nice if they have that in, that you can't choose to execute. That would be cool. Then I guess if you clicked it, maybe it just like causes tyranny. That would be kind of cool as well. Either way, that's really nice. Um, the sacraments. The, this heresy has no formal head and no special game mechanics. Order and under courtiers to take the vows. There is and can exist no religious head. Okay. Well, we'll spread it out maybe to become the main Catholic religion. So this stupid, you know, this thing, Catholic. So I mean Christian religion, not Catholic. The hideous. Huh. The hideous? I guess it's hideous. Yes, so not hideous. Hideous. He's ugly. You're ugly. Sorry, that song just got stuck in my head. And what happened up here? Norway is taking some land. So did someone die or did he take it by force? Af Vendel. Well, that is not one of the children of good old Ragnar Lofbrak. Lodbrak. Lofbrak. Sorry, I always say it wrong. Um, but yeah. Ah, so he had it. Then he died, and his child did not get it. Your son does not look very Scandinavian. <laughs> his wife was from Khazar. Huh. Branging guard. I guess it was a concubine then. Interesting. Um, but yes, I pray she'll recover. <gasps> My wife. No, the genius. Um, she tried to convince me to join his vile heresy. I hope you can see him see sense. Ah, uh, demand reconversion. I am cruel, but then I'm just. It's really hard to balance out cruel and just right now. I feel like. We shouldn't demand conversion from him just because he's talking, you know, just because he's like giving him the idea. I, w I wouldn't force him to change. I'm a cynical man, so I wouldn't force him to change. It's down to yourself, but, and I'm gregarious, I can see what might cause some problems. So let it slide for now. If I just let it slide, no one gets hurt. The court physician Bishop, Bishop Sands of Axe has completely botched the treatment of my wife, uh, her disease. Adelinda is now even worse off than before, barely clinging on to life. I am expected to punish the bishop for this transgression, but what would be a suitable punishment? Now, I'm a just man. I'm crueler. Huh, I can't believe it. What have you done to my dear wife? You've severely... And she has a head wound, and now she has one eye. What is wrong with you, sir? Into the dungeons. I will talk sense into him. Easy now. Sans is trying his best. Hmm. I guess it's in my right to put him into the dungeons. Yeah, I guess. Because I'm cruel, it's going to push me that way. It's really hard for me to balance that out. I'd love to hear what you guys think and what you would choose. But for now, he goes into the dungeons. And my wife died of slow fever. It's a sad day. A sad day for all. My son, three years old, has lost his mother. I'm sorry, my son. We'll find you a new, new mother. Let's find, let's try and find one that could be a good alliance or something. But for now, we need a new uh, physician. I guess Aguila, who has diarrhea. So we're going to get a guy who has diarrhea to be my physician. Great. That sounds like a great idea. And I guess you can be the, the court chaplain. Yeah. Now, we haven't brought the thing just yet. Slow fever is still everywhere. You guys though, can do stuff now. Why is that? Are you not inside with me? Yeah, it looks like they're not inside with me. Did I send them out? I didn't send these guys out. Huh. Okay. Just going to ignore that for now then. I uh, designate regent. We have no regent. I do need to find a new wife. Okay, let's have a look at the people around us. We want allies in Frankia. That's what we need right now. Now, Poto is always the one I like to look at because they're a strong neighbor. His youngest sister is 43 and she's already married. Hmm. Could find some allies in Lombardy. Probably not, though. I don't want to control the whole southern border with the Umeads just because then it means I'll have to take them on. So we could just ally with one of the ones down here. Maybe a bit weaker. His one daughter is 13. She'd be perfect. 
Good allies of Gascoigne. Could be right. And Drew has some land down here. Daughter's 12 years old. She's ugly, though. Maybe we don't want her to be ugly. I probably want to go up northwards if I'm going to increase our lands. Burgundy could be pretty good. He does have a daughter. She's zero and she's a bastard. And no sisters. Sav. Oh, Sav is the priest. Yeah, I keep looking at Oh, I should have a look at the strongest ones, though, because none of the ones near me look like we can join with them. I'm the strongest? Really? I'm the strongest man in the whole... No wonder they keep putting me as the marshal of the realm. I'm pretty good at marshal, but still, that surprises me. Flanders. Can, can I move this? There we go. Let's have a sister. Four years old. We could just marry her. That is a good point. Now, I don't think she would accept, and even if she did, she'd probably just put it... She probably wouldn't accept in the end, yeah. You can see there. Okay, can't marry her then. Then it was Burgundy. Then Brabant. His second daughter's already married. But he would inherit, but nothing there. Okay, Alamania. She's already... Everyone gets married so quickly on this. 12 years old. I think this might be the best one to go for. She's 12 years old. Only got to wait a couple more years. Could marry a princess. Ooh. Then again, she's not a princess, is she? No, but she is attractive. Let's really go for the father, yeah. So he has that daughter. And this daughter. That would have been cool. Okay, let's go for this. Let's ally with uh, Alemania. That could be really good if we go for like um, an independence idea. But us two together, we got probably the two most land apart from Poteau and Middle Francia. And of course, Saxony would be the other one. She's free. She's a bastard. Let's go for that one then. 12 years old. That's fine. Now, it won't be great if I have more boys, because obviously if I have more boys, that could then contest the inheritance. It'll mean my land will get split up between them. But I, I think he should get married again. He's 47 years old. Um, I think he'd still get married. He's still old enough to get married. He wants to carry on the family. We want the families to get bigger. Our family isn't that big, only seven members of our dynasty, and my daughter's not had any kids yet, and now she has diarrhea. God, <sighs> okay. I accept your suggestion, very nice, thank you very much. We have lots of money again. Yeah, she's now got slow fever. Maybe my attractive daughter will never have kids. Are you kidding me? The court has completely botched the job, into the dungeon again. What is going on <laughs> Court position. He's in. Oh, he's in the thing with me. Yeah. So there we go. We'll make him it. We have no one that can really fit in. Let's go recruit. A we need a good one. We had such bad court positions. Petro is very upset. I hope I do not have to wait long. Hope we can find someone because we're facing an epidemic right now of slow fever. Your range is a port of a suspected witch living in the outskirts of the realm. Well, I do have history of the mystic arts. So I'm not really off looking into other religions and mysticism and stuff. They have never been able to prove that the woman practices sorcery, although the villagers do not trust her. Okay. She is willing to put her medical mixology skills to good use in your court and offers to become your physician exchange for naught but a small vial of your blood. A most strange offer. She's of my religion as well. Yeah, I guess I'm not really off from doing this. I've done things similar to this before. Small vial of my blood. I see nothing wrong with that. There we go. Come join me as my court physician. So we're going to leave this part here, I think. I've recorded uh, long enough for this part. Um, we'll return next time. What will happen? Will that witch? Will she be a good court physician? Have I made a mistake by bringing her to my court? Should I marry her? No, we won't marry her. She's attractive. I could marry her. No, we want that alliance. I want that non-aggression pact and possible alliance with Armenia. And he would accept, so let's do that. Is he at war right now? Huh. He's trying to take Middle Franca. Let's, let's make an alliance now then, because if he can win that, that would be great. Yeah, if he takes Middle Franca, that is for himself, yeah? Yeah. He'll be extremely strong. We'll have a very strong ally then. Very good choice there. So yeah, so I, I was about to let I got distracted then. We've now got an alliance. Perfect.
So I got kind of distracted that we have a good alliance with one of the most powerful men in the realm. We are the most powerful man in the realm, apart from obviously the Emperor himself. Praise be to Suno, of course. <laughs> but yes, I will see you guys in the next part.